So what if the very videos you've been watching on getting more views, getting more subscribers, and growing your channel were actually the thing holding you back? Brian G. Johnson! Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson, and to grow your channel, stake your claim, and amplify your message. Do that by subscribing. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. So I'm not really happy with so many of the decisions that YouTube is making here on the platform. And I feel like those decisions are making it so much harder for smaller channels to find success. However, this particular video is about how to set yourself up to do your very best work here on YouTube. In other words, to publish the very best videos that you're capable of. And to do that, I believe you've gotta separate yourself to some degree with a lot of the negative energy that is swirling around YouTube pretty much at all times. That's what this video is all about. So here's the big problem. You see, YouTube tips and tricks videos are simply not enough, and there's something that's missing, and quite frankly, there aren't a lot of videos about this missing ingredient because it's scary, and publishers or video creators, uh, YouTubers, right, that make videos like I do, well, by sharing this information, it's not really what you, the audience, wanna hear. And with that, figure this is your invitation to bail now because I'm gonna talk about uh, like what we need to do as responsible adults to move forward and grow our channel. And this video might sting a little bit, it might hurt a little bit, but make no mistake, I believe it's absolutely critical that you hear this and you just kind of like you're self-aware of what's happening and how you're thinking. What I know beyond a shadow of a doubt is there's really kind of two different types of people in the world. And you wanna make sure you're in the minority, the smaller group of individuals that really accept responsibility for what they want as opposed to the majority. And sadly, the majority cling to external things that can never really help them achieve the results that they're after. For example, these external things could be diet pills that make you lose weight overnight with hardly any work on your part. Or it could be a software app that promises incredible results, again, with little input from you. And sadly, this is the majority. They put all their hopes and dreams into these external things that can never really give them the results they're after. Nobody other than yourself can help you grow your channel and nothing, again, other than yourself can help you drive that success. Now a mentor or a coach can help and so can various tools, but without a question of a doubt, it's up to you to make it happen. And yet sadly, so many that are in the majority are really unaware of how their thinking really impacts their results, their ability to take massive action. And that's where you don't wanna be because the one thing you gotta do in order to succeed on YouTube is yeah, you gotta take massive action early when there aren't a lot of views, there aren't a lot of subscribers and it's challenging, but you can do it. This means that you've really gotta be self-aware, you've gotta accept responsibility, and most important, you've gotta really focus and again, you gotta take massive action on the things you want and desire. And when you do that, you'll transition from the majority to the minority. And another way that the majority thinks is often based on self-sabotage, almost with a born to lose mentality. And oftentimes this plays out based on past experiences. You've tried things, you've stepped up to the plate, but over and again, you haven't been able to drive the results you were after, and you feel like you're sabotaged, like something is against you, like no matter what you do, you're unable to achieve the results you're after. And again, that's where you start to develop this born to lose mentality. And oftentimes words begin to creep in, things like I can't and I tried and I tried everything and nothing works. And sadly, this leads us to roadblocks becoming excuses. Along the way, you're gonna start seeing roadblocks, like wow, this making videos things is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Editing videos takes so much time and energy. 
And it does, right? And these are all really valid things, right? I mean, it takes so much time. And when we get started, we're not prepared emotionally for all this stuff. We don't have any idea the amount of energy and time and dedication it takes to create a successful YouTube channel. And this is where ultimately YouTubers seal their fate. When they come to that crossroads, what they focus on really determines their success or lack thereof. Because what we think about grows and it becomes bigger and bigger. And if you see all the flaws associated with YouTube, if you see how hard it is, it's really impossible to do your best work, to continue to publish videos, to believe that you can do it, and sooner or later you give up on your hopes and dreams and those roadblocks become excuses as to why you can't succeed here on YouTube. So friend, when you get to that place, when you're at that crossroads, decide to move forward and grow your channel and do anything you can to distance yourself from that negative feeling, those negative thoughts, because it can only pull you down. You've got to stake your claim. So what the heck do you actually do when you're at that point and it seems so challenging, when you see so many people struggling, when you can't really believe that you can succeed but you want to, what do you do? Yeah, so step one is you accept responsibility. Just realize, like write this down, say, hey, it's up to me. If I want that success on YouTube, uh, it's not going to be a coach that helps me get there. It's not going to be TubeBuddy or Morning Fame or VidIQ. I see a lot of people are like, I installed the plugin and I don't. There's no software app on the planet that can grow a successful channel. There's no coach that can do it for you. A coach, a piece of software can help you make better decisions, but accept responsibility for what you want. That's step number one. And that's something I got from my pal, Nick Nimmin. If you're unable to be at that point right now where you believe, get with other positive individuals that believe they can make it happen because that rubs off. If you run with a pack of winners, yeah, you're gonna become a winner too. It's just how life works. You have to focus on what you can do in order to achieve those dreams and goals you've set out for yourself. You've gotta be objective and see things how they are rather than how you want them to be. You know, YouTube works the way it works. You can't change the way YouTube works, but you can definitely change how you think, how you act, and how you work. Until you accept responsibility, you'll be doomed to fail. You'll always struggle. You'll always play small and you'll feel cheated inside. You see, that's what's missing. A strong mindset to carry you through the challenging times. YouTube is hard. Anything worthwhile in life is hard. It's challenging and you've got to have a strong mindset. Now, we've talked about that. That's the missing ingredient. I want to now move forward with five steps, the real steps that can guide you along the way. Let's do it. Step number one, you've got to publish video assets. And what that means is you're publishing videos that the audience love. Don't fool yourself. Don't tell yourself, I just published a good video. If you look at your video and you say, well, my quality is great, how can you really improve? If you say the quality is great, there's no reason to improve and you're gonna be stuck. As YouTube creators that wanna grow, right? We wanna grow. It doesn't matter what we think of our video. We've got to be directed by the audience we want to obtain. And you can do that by measuring your audience retention, by studying your YouTube analytics, by looking at how many people are clicking on your thumbnails. That's the real indication as to whether or not people like your video. And I promise you, if you keep stepping up to the plate, you keep practicing, those metrics will improve. And at some point, your video is really going to explode and you're gonna grow. Now, as you're publishing videos, figure that you're gonna publish about 10 videos, and every 10th video or so, you're gonna get one that drives a lot more views than those other 10. And think about that if you're just getting started. You might have to publish 
10, 20 videos to get just one that does a bit better. And that's challenging, but stick with it. Because oftentimes video creators publish video after video with very few views, and then all of a sudden, a video totally blows up. Lo and behold, this video became a little bit of a viral hit for us. It's now had somewhere in the region of about 12 million views, and that went out about eight months ago. It took the channel from under a thousand subscribers to currently we're on 108 thousand subscribers and step number two super important you've got to have extreme channel clarity and you've got to focus and sacrifice to make that happen and here's why in 2019 and 2020 that's not that far away youtube is a mature platform and any niche you go into you're going to be competing against authoritative channels in other words, if you've got a gaming channel and you share cooking videos, well, when you share that cooking video, you're gonna be competing against a channel that's got millions of subscribers and they're an expert at cooking and teaching and Italian food and calories and, and the art of sauteing and fresh herbs. And that's what you gotta compete with. And it's really challenging to do that. And furthermore, when you build a channel that is really focused, when a viewer lands on your channel, it's really easy for them to see the value they're gonna get. If you've got one cooking channel, even better, it's an Italian cooking channel, that's gonna be really easy for viewers to understand, and you're gonna be a lot more likely to get people to subscribe. If you've got 20 different things going on, your channel means nothing to nobody, and you'll be competing against those authoritative channels, and you'll never become the expert. See, that's the thing. When you get started, you don't have to be an expert, right? You don't have to be great to get started, but you gotta get started to be great. And if you decide one niche, one Italian cooking channel, over time, you're gonna become a ninja, right? You're gonna become Bobby Flay, although he's a little bit more Southwestern, like myself and my wife, I think you get the point. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee. And that's your YouTube channel when you focus on one thing over a period of time. And when you do that along the way, you're gonna earn trust, you're gonna earn respect. Sadly, the majority, they chase things. And sadly, the majority, they do so many different things on their channel and they never become authoritative and they struggle. Step number three, study successful channels, and this part is key, again and again and again. And what you wanna do is you really wanna look for what they're doing that you're not. What is it about their channel that is a little different from your channel? And you can look at what you're doing that those successful channels are not doing. And the more you do this, the more you begin to develop a blueprint for success. It's like hanging out with those successful people we talked about earlier. And step number four, content creation has to come first. If you are busy, you've gotta focus on creating content before you consume it. We're gonna talk more about that in step five. I see so many people that are trying to research their way to becoming great video creators. Can you imagine if Picasso did that? If he tried to figure out how to paint amazing paintings by reading a book? That's insanity. You gotta publish videos consistently to learn the art of becoming a great YouTuber. And step number five, you've gotta manage your energy. This one is critical and I know for a fact that a lot of YouTubers, they struggle because they don't manage their energy to the best of their ability. The fact of the matter is you're a busy human being. We're all really busy. We've got a lot of stuff going on. You've probably got a job, you've got friends, you've got family, and you've only got a little bit of time for YouTube. If that's the case, you'll be far better off to spend the majority of that time, like I mentioned in step four, creating content, right? The more you create, the more skills you gain, the easier it is to move forward and win here on YouTube. 
You see, the fact of the matter is human beings are like batteries. We wake up in the morning, we've got a lot more energy than we do at the end of the night. And if you're trying to do the tasks, like filming a video when you have zero energy, it'll be so much harder to make that happen. Here's a little tip. One of the things that I do is I prioritize my day. Every day when I get started, the first thing that matters to me is did I do something to get me just a little bit closer to publishing a video? That almost always means did I film? Because filming is the hard part. Editing a video takes a lot of time, but it doesn't, it's not the energy output that filming is, right? Prioritize your tasks and you'll be more likely to do what's most important day by day. Step number six has really helped me a lot. And that is I protect myself from negative energy. In fact, I published an image once <laughs> and I live by it today. And it's negativity shall not pass. And another quote that I love that, that popped in my head once was, if you want greatness in your life, you gotta act the part, right? I mean, if you wanna be one of the top 1% of YouTube creators, you've gotta act like a one percenter. You've gotta really go the distance, you gotta put in the effort, and by separating yourself from those that are negative, you're gonna really help yourself to achieve the results you're after. Now, a great way to help you move forward is to identify some common mistakes. I'll link to a video that covers just those items. It's right there. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Do that and you'll feed a poodle. I've got two and they're hungry. I'll see you next time. You dig?